There was a time when newspapers ruled the news kingdom. If you wanted to know info about what was happening in the world, you got it from the paper. And some of the biggest stories ever told were told in print. Australia's first newspaper was printed way back in 1803 on an old school printing press, which actually came over on the first fleet. Though it took a decade for people to figure out how to use it. From there, newspapers took off all over the place. At first, they were just pages of text, but eventually they had photos and much love extras like crossword puzzles. The newspaper kingdom grew vast with national, state and local newspapers. And it was a rich kingdom. Thanks to advertising. You see, people would pay to put their ad in the paper knowing it would get to thousands. That sweet, sweet ad money helped to build media empires like Fairfax and News Corp, which now own nearly all Australian newspapers. But over the years, there have been some rivals to the newspaper throne. First, there was radio, then TV. Decide. But the toughest foe has turned out to be the internet. Unlike newspapers, info here can be updated instantly. You can search for what you want to read and there are no printing costs. Sites like these have soaked up a lot of the advertising money that would have once gone to newspapers. Of course, they have websites too, but many are struggling to make money. So they're finding ways to cut costs. Recently, News Corp announced it was shutting down 112 of its Australian community and regional papers at the end of this month. That's the changing times. Um, you go on a tram now, you don't see a bunch of guys with hats reading the newspapers. You see a lot of kids on phones. Matt Dayton works for News Corp. He's spent many years writing for community papers and he says they cover stories other news outlets don't. I think I've covered everything from an AFL game to the local under-11 lacrosse team. Those stories that are actually what might matter to a small group of people, but it matters a lot to that group of people. News Corp says it's still going to employ journalists to cover community stories, but they'll go into big city newspapers and online. The loss of papers is not a loss of journalism. But while News Corp is keeping 76 of its community papers online, 36 will be gone for good. And some people say that's a huge problem because there'll be parts of Australia where news just isn't covered. Some have pointed out that News Corp is a big global company that's actually making heaps of money at the moment from other types of media. So it could afford to keep their papers going. Plus, many think there's still a demand for your good old-fashioned newspaper. I prefer a physical paper. I have nothing to read in the morning now. In fact, here in Narracourt in SA, one local has recently launched his own newspaper and he says it's selling really well. It's making people talk to each other again. And that's not my words, that's what I'm hearing out as we're out. However we get our news, many say a healthy democracy depends on everyone having access to quality reporting from a variety of sources. And while the reign of printed newspapers seems to be coming to an end, many are hoping it doesn't mean the end of quality journalism. <laughs>